Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. We just finished Rackham's trial last episode and we came back to our room in Hogwarts Legacy. And today we've got a few quests that we're going to try to complete as well as uh, do some side quests as well. The first quest we're going to do, which is part of the main story quest, is the caretaker's lunar limit. Gladwin Moon, the Hogwarts caretaker, wishes to speak with me about something. I should go find him near the reception hall. So that's what we're going to do first, and go from there. Up the stairs we go. Bye, peeves. That's solo, Mora. Professor Black. Mm, so Peeves likes to torment <laughs> Professor Black. That's interesting. <laughs> and we're being hit with a little bit of lag here. Hopefully it calms down just a bit. I think that mostly has to do with the heat. <sighs> you make your point. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, they're still after it. You'd think it would stop by now, but apparently not. I must be fall time now. Pavelio. I still find Hogwarts very pretty, no matter what time of year. I'd have to say though, probably fall is their best time. It just goes pretty great with the gothic interior, exterior and interior. The late Peeves has a crush on me because he keeps following me. Hmm. One is lit. 
How many are there? One, two, four. Revelia. Maybe a puzzle. They've got symbols on them. Oh. It looks like there's numbers, maybe? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey. There is, okay. So... The X is 4. Hmm, I wonder why it's not moving. Oh wait, I have to light on the fire, don't I? Let me see. See, this is the moon. It's two. Yep, that's it. Okay. So... There we go. Ah, okay. I'm learning your script. Triangle with dashes in it. This is what? what was that for? A one, so the last one should be three. Ooh, secret, secret. Solve awkward secrets. <laughs> okay. This must have been a really tight lipped secret. <laughs> He's just scared. Revelia. Ooh, a one. It looks closer to the color that mom has, so I may go with that one. Push near school shelf. Interesting. Ooh, big boy chest. Unidentified item. Nothing else? Okay. That's pretty cool. If I didn't see the symbols on the little lamps, like those, and then see that, I would have never guessed this was a puzzle. That was just odd seeing like one of them lit though. <laughs> that was like really the only thing that like kind of threw me off really was like why would there only be one lit and there's like four of them there, you know? The laptop. My siblings and I have all been sorted into different houses. It came as no surprise to my father. Good on you for stopping that troll. My older sisters taught me everything I needed to know about Hogwarts before I set foot in the castle, including how to sneak food from in the kitchens. Well, that's interesting. I'm sorry for about the meowing in the background. I mittens is being very vocal. About moving. Oh, I heard a noise. Ooh, wait. Um. That's not the one. I'm gonna have to. Let 
swore I heard the sound of the Diddy Lanky. Oh my god, I did. There it is. Keep the way, little key. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Uh, not currently, Gareth. I will talk to you in a moment. <laughs> Forgot the button to what to do. Make a save. Yeah. For sure. Ooh, ooh. Rebellion. Hogwarts Crest. The Hogwarts coat of arms includes a lion, snake, eagle, and badger, representing each of the four houses, along with the school's motto. Drago Dorminus Naquium Tiltiandus, which means never tickle a sleeping dragon. In other words, never underestimate an underdog. And that's what Hogwarts students are raised like. Alright, let's go see what Gareth wanted real quick before we talk to Gladius. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped him with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. A secret passage? Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness, it's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywig stings? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. <laughs> Well, I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Now that is going to have to be. Uh, one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh hey, Hogwarts house. <laughs> Rebellia. House Point Hourglasses. These large ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of the house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, respectively. Interesting. That's cool, though. I didn't realize how fucking huge they were, though. Pretty cool. I just find it funny that with the snake, like, the snakes are on the front, but, like, everyone else is, like, on top of their house thing. Interesting. Alright, well, let's get back on track with talking to Gladys. Uh... And then when we're able, we'll do... Another side quest, Jesus, another field guide. 
The Hogwarts architect. The Hogwarts architect shown here is surrounded by the four houses mascots. Designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside the founder, Rowena Cravenclaw, who is credited with creating its ever-changing floor plan. Hmm. That's interesting. I swear he looks like Merlin. Like, I think all, like, old wizard dudes with really long beards look like fucking... <laughs> Merlin, because you never know who who's who. Do I have to wait during the night? <sighs> I'd rather do this real quick. Three, so it's two, four, six, so zero would be... Uh, that's the... I'm assuming this is the make guys. It looks like the make guys. Um, five, one, that's six, so five. That would be the five fingers. Scary spider looking to me and popper up there. Revelia. Where is Zirat the Bastard? <laughs> the key is taunting me. Everything is taunting me. Did I miss it somewhere? Shouldn't be that far from it, should it? No, there it is. About to question my freaking insanity here. That's slow, right there. Off on another adventure, are we? Okay, this should be it. I do believe. I almost only hit that. Yay! Revelia! <laughs> Interesting. Oh, hello. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. I just like First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Fortunate to have a student. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <laughs> yes, 
terrifying creature that can see the future. <laughs> Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodesses. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. The faculty tower? I'm not sure I should be going in there. Oh, you needn't worry. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine if you simply mind you're not seen. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Hello, Hamara. Let's begin. That's how we get the spell. Oh, the fun part. Lumos. Nope. Wrong Approach and interact with the lock to cast the unlocking charm, Alohomora. Alohomora. Use the L and R stick to move the sparks and rotate the dials upon... Until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Interesting. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Okay. Pavelia. Hello, Amora. Still doesn't mean I'm not gonna sneak. <laughs> dear Maribel, my dear Dot has been asking for you. Perhaps you can convince her to stop in for Butter Bear too, if, if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants, the more fragrant ones. 
Ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell, believe it or not. Old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon, without or with with or without the plants, your friend Serona. Mm, Maribel Garlic, is this her? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? It is. I'm sorry, Professor Garlic. <laughs> I feel so bad now going through her things. level two. There's a Dedalian key right there. Casting Revelio reveals authority figures and enemy locations, allowing you to scout ahead and remain undetected. Reminder to staff, the Hogwarts House Elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. <clears throat> they are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The, ca the cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby in a bottom of ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect that culprit was Peeves. Please keep an eye out and be careful. Matilda Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Interesting. Okay, so how the hell am I gonna get past this motherfucker? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the truth. I always slip by them easily. I'm kind of terrified right now. <laughs> Boris the Bewildered, the statue of a lost-looking wizard known as Boris the Bewildered, has perplexed students for ages. Is he coming or going? Is he the beginning of a journey or the end? Perhaps we shall never know. I would say probably in between, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna try to go upstairs. I don't know where the bathroom's at. I'm pretty sure I just missed it. That's this in... must be the prefect's bathroom. Hello, Amora. Avelia. would allow them to have wands. One of those goblins comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Or her on his bow. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. 
My marching professor Hoffman's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone, you troll? How dare you speak to a priest like that? Mermaid. And she moves. Pretty. Sorry, distraction. You see nothing. Oh no. Why are you coming this way? Why are you coming this way? There's definitely stuff in here. I'll have to come after later. Hello, Mora. Alright, I'm gonna get this chest, <laughs> then I'm going to leave. in the hospital wing on account of my venomous tentacula. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. Who's that trump? God damn it. <laughs> no, I gotta do it again. <laughs> I thought I was like okay, but I guess I wasn't. I guess I can sneak by whenever, um, hmm. Okay, that's cool. Starts me over back at the beginning to make it back to the hospital wing. How oh, dare it. On 
What was that? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I have high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a majestic sport. In the competition. Told of the human condition. Sir, how's that? Well, all of the teamwork and the flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry Hospital Wing, attending healer and nurse Noreen Bailey, patient name redacted by order of Professor Black, age redacted. No patient was injured during the Quidditch match, though in my professional opinion, a blank redacted. Heard counts as an injury. In fact, if anyone was injured, it was me, and I do not believe I've ever rolled my eyes quite so hard in my life. It's a wonder I can even see to write this note. Rather unbelievable or indeedly despicable, the headmaster now wants to cancel Quidditch. All because a pure blood redacted went and redacted before the snitch was even in sight. When I pressed the headmaster slightly, I was told redacted. Staggering. <laughs> well, interesting. <laughs> kind of funny. Sure, I'm heading the right way. Avelia. I'm sure I can come back up here. Just don't want to get too old. I'll do this real quick. It's a little too slow on that. <laughs> and here it is, slow again. Come on, key. So close. A little sooner. So bad for the key. <laughs> eventually come back up here and gather all the stuff that I need. I just want to get out of here because it's completely restricted and I don't think it'll be restricted and like after this quest. So I think I should be fine. Another key. Going downstairs. Oh shit. Let's do it. Do it. Excellent. <laughs> First try on this one. Yay. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped! An excellent start! Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I 
first suspected peeves, he drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. <laughs> Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Goodbye, Mr. Moon. Alright. Our next quest... If I can go to the right thing. We have several assignments to do. Side quests. I still don't have this one. So. I guess we'll go attend Beast class and then I think after that we'll call it there. We'll do side quests and other things in the future episode. Thank you kindly for letting us race your game. <laughs> yeah. Still getting hit with a bit of lag, and I think that's mostly due to my cooler overheating. That and the transitions in between certain places of the school. I love how it works. <laughs> We're going down to Stinky Hall again. No, okay. Thought we were going down the Stinky Hall again. Just waiting for them to both brutally keep attacking each other. <laughs> uh. Wow, it's way out here. Ooh, is it the place that's like right over here that I thought was the Hagrid Hut area, but was not? Yeah, it is. Okay. Is 
let us attend a ZBS class. Probably one of my favorite classes. I think that would be in Hogwarts. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Oh. Okay. Hold to your side. <laughs> That's lovely. Aww. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? <laughs> what do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. At home. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's Aww. good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. <laughs> good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? <gasps> measles. This way. The measles are over here. They're like a mix between bobtails, lynxes, and um. Some oh, of the Asian cats have like a couple really of measles. Bad whiskers faces. ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> Ah, uh, stupid thing. Uh, uh, what in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. Uh, Let's go. Slytherins, I swear. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. really took to you it appears our time has come to an end please close the pens and see yourselves out now where is our new student ah there you are I would like a moment please hello professor 
You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as <laughs> bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other 50th. Uh, Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey, over here. Come on. Yes, Poppy. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. <laughs> I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't okay. worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Thankfully, it's pretty light. Stand back. Oh, a hippogriff! He's already befriended one. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? <laughs> Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. <laughs> I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. That uh, I don't know. <laughs> So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. 
I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. All right. Well, guys, that is the end of this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. We went and talked to Mr. Moon, got the Alohomora uh spell as well as getting some more collectibles <laughs> to deal with while we are in our adventures in hogwarts as well as talk to poppy and i started learning more about the magical beasts in the wizarding world so that is it that's going to do it for us if you guys would like to check out the full playlist of hogwarts legacy you can check it out over here there's an episode every Friday, as usual, until the game is completed. Without further ado, that is the end. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Stay patty. Bye!